This is Mike with Bill Brothers. We're at 5185 Via Playa Los Santos. Doing a roof inspection on a uh, flat concrete tile roof. Uh, approximate age, this is probably the original roof. So 25 plus years old. Um, they, had, they had a rake come off on the other side, landed on the lower roof, broke a bunch of tiles, uh, checked out the paper. Paper definitely looks pretty old, so probably uh, obviously the original construction. Um, I'm on the back side of the house right now. General condition of the tiles are in pretty good shape. Um, I, I see a little chip one there, which isn't bad. Um, checking the pipe vents, there is caulking on some of them. Good sign. Um, they have a large chimney uh, that's actually wood encased. I can see the flashing here. They've got, a, they've got a flashing coming out right here. I'm not sure what's going on there. A couple extra tiles up here. Um, they've got ventilation. These big half domes are called dormer vents. So there's two, four, five, six right here. That's to uh, keep the attic, keep the hot air out and keep it uh, cooler in the house and also keep the moisture out in the winter. Um, there used to be mortar right here. Somebody's come up and done some mastic on there. Same with that one over there. So possibly repairs done at one time. Um, the wood on this, you can see, is really uh, rotting out. That's actually termite damage. So you can see that on that piece and this piece. So something to think about. We don't handle with that kind of woodwork. Um, but a chimney company would do that for you. There is a little bit of a cricket back here. Because this chimney is wider than three feet, uh, you should have a cricket that diverts the water around. So what's happening now, you got a lot of debris back there, which is, uh, we don't want bottlenecking and getting, uh, getting up under there. So look at the other side here. So, this is what we call a valley right here, where the two areas meet. The valley is pinched, almost closed. So nowadays when we do valleys, we actually open these up about four inches or so. We want the debris to get off your roof. What's happening is you can see debris in there. So it clogs up your uh, valley and then water gets diverted different ways that we don't want it to go. Same with the valleys over here too, same, same problem. So more of a fundamental issue. Um, and the fact that that rake just came off, you know, all these mortar caps are gone. If somebody's done some, they've come out and done some mastic on top of them, but mastic's not really what uh, guards it. Your uh, heat stack cap too is a little, little cockeyed, but that's okay. It's not off. So, so in general, I mean, I don't see any broken tiles up here. You've got the lower ones, but this roof's aging at the point of. Um, what I'm seeing is this is where we start to do what we call lift and reset. We pick up, reuse the tiles, pick up the whole roof, redo your underlayment, um, redo all the flashings, open up these valleys, you know, basically make the roof new except for um, the uh, tiles, which will be reused because the tiles will last, the concrete tiles will last at least 50 years. So but you know, and then we don't use dormers anymore. We kind of, we use what we call O'Hagans, which your neighbor over there has a real flat, clean, clean look. Um, they're just a better, more functional uh, version. But in general, I don't see any, uh, anything broken up here. So that's a good sign. But uh, I'm gonna check the underlayment up here too, but uh, we'll discuss all the options with the homeowner.